Hey everyone, this is Snark with Snark's Domain. Uh, today we're just doing a short recap of the stream I did last night, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So last night we posted a poll, um, maybe half an hour before I went on stream, which... To, just to decide which of the pension putties to test out on the test card next. So you guys picked, uh, with a total of two votes, <laughs> uh, Pentium TH949-1. So we uh, went ahead and tested that one out on stream. And uh, this is just a very short uh, time lapse. It's like three and a half minutes. Uh, so I disassembled the card. And uh, I always do the start pattern as usual. And I labeled the uh, the previous syringe of Lee Poly. And I wasn't expecting this to have uh, those stalactites and stalact or stalactites and stalagmites. It was very sticky putty. Now you can see how it's clinging to the VRAM and the cooler. Uh, but I did manage to clean it up with uh, isopropyl fairly easily. I wouldn't even... You don't even really need to use a toothbrush on this stuff. It does. But I don't know. I wonder if it would harden over time or not. Hard to say. But it was uh, not too bad to clean up. But it was definitely clinging tenaciously to the VRAM and the cooler. Um, but yeah. Treat it. Isopropyl did a good job of cleaning it up. I guess on the bottom left you guys can see the uh, the RGB of my... Rig. It doesn't go that fast when <laughs> in real time, obviously. But uh, yeah, so we're getting polished up there. And uh, yeah, I always like to take my time, make sure it's clean thoroughly, obviously. And then everywhere else, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with my channel or videos, um, I'm reshaping the TGPP10 that's elsewhere on the card, and I'm only putting this putty on the VRAM for testing. So we're going to load up the syringe, which took a little bit. I had to use a screwdriver, which I cleaned with ISO beforehand. And loaded it up. And, uh, yeah. Can't remember if I waited or not, but either way. And so I spread some paste on the core. And then I did, and put a little dab in the middle. Then I decided not just to apply it with the syringe, but... I wanted to make them a little bit fatter than six mil. And I guess I could have cut the nozzle, but I decided I'd put some gloves on, uh, squeeze out a long length, cut them to approximate lengths, and then squeeze them a little bit uh, like to shorten them up and roll them to make them smooth again. I'm applying these to the cooler um, so that they don't fall off um, of the PCB. So some, some clay like putties don't like to cling just prior to assembly. Once you compress them down, they, they kind of scour the surface of the VRAM and the cooler as they go by. Uh, here I'm starting the screws, but I'm not going to fully tighten them. I'm going to compress. I basically, that was really short, but I, I pressed the card down to squeeze the clay like putty. And then I went back to the start pattern, tightened all the screws, and uh, put it back on the test bench. So, yeah, um, hopefully my streaming doesn't uh, mess up the audio again like that. It was kind of annoying. We did talk about more stuff after the card assembly, but I'll make a separate video for that. But yeah, that's it for this video. Like I said, just a short recap of the stream, which I've been doing uh, for each of the putties that I applied to the test card. And uh, yeah, hopefully I catch you guys on the next one.